America. Welcome back to the show for caregivers, about caregivers, hosted by a caregiver. This is Peter Rosenberger. Happy Fourth of July week, and that is the one and only Ray Charles. And I, I love that. Thank you, John. Oh, thank uh, you. Ed, well, and and uh, you know, we got a uh, I got a message from uh, from Ed, who's working the uh, working the the syndication part of this, and he's like, "This is one of the top greatest recordings of all time." It's just yes. I, I, do you know what? Uh, there are two people in this world who have disabilities that performed. There's a man and there's a woman that both performed at a political a national political convention that have disabilities. Only two. Ray Charles is one. And my wife is the second. There you go. <laughs> and we're going to hear what she performed later on in the show. Absolutely. Uh, that, now, I think others have done it since then, but they were the first two. She's the first woman, and he was the first uh, man with a disability to do that. So anyway, hey, listen, welcome back. Uh, 877-655-6755 if you want to be on the show. 877-6555. John? What's that, Peter? All right. We've got to uh, – as I would, I would do this first. Let me get let me get right to this first. We, we start off with our today's senior moment. I don't need your rocking chair. With the uh, one and only George Jones. Today's senior moment has a very poignant thing for me. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to set it up with this. I called my father to check on my mother. My mother has been, uh, she's had congestive heart failure. She had to have a valve replaced, and she has been in ICU uh, for some time now, about like three months dealing with, uh, well, and, and she's been stepped down, then she had to go back to ICU, been stepped down and go back to ICU, but she's been slowly but surely getting better. Tracheotomy, the whole thing. She's been very, very sick and it to the point where we thought we were going to lose her. And this has been going on for about three to four months now. And it's been very dicey. And I've been back and forth to South Carolina many times to see them. A lot of folks have been asking about them. I called my father on Friday. I said, you know, and, and I said, Dad? And he talked in very hushed tones. Now, my father is a minister, and he's got a powerful voice. And I was going to say ministers aren't known no, for their but he hushed said, tones. He said, yeah. This is what he said. Peter, Peter. I said, yeah, Dad, you all right? He said, can I, can I call you right back? And I said, Everything okay? He said, yeah, we're playing bingo, and I think I'm winning. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and I thought, well, okay. Evidently, they're doing okay. And that brings me to our today's Senior Moment, sponsored by our friends at Morning Point Senior Living and Memory Care, which is to play games. Play games. There is nothing more that engages your brain than activities and games and things such as that. And so when I was listening to my and, and dad, dad and mom were both playing, and my sister told me mom won a straw hat. And she said, Look, it's not for me, but mom and dad seem to be having a great time with it. They're playing games. And the center where they're where they're located knows how important that is. Oh, absolutely. For, for all kinds of activities. Basically, mom and dad are at summer camp. You know, oh, that's there's perfect. but with acute care, you yeah. know, because he's been with her for the most part. And I told dad, I said, okay, look, your children are all raised. You don't have money issues. Mom is safe. She's in a good place. She's getting better. She walked 25 feet yesterday with the walker, which is a huge step because we it, really, it sounds like more than one step, uh, <laughs> but, but it's been a, it's been a haul for them. And then when I call him up, dad, you all right? You all right? Yeah. Can I call you back? We're playing bingo. <laughs> it's, it's nice to know that that he has the the but, presence of mind to 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 engage in hushed tones on occasion, it, but it, only when it's something truly important I like mean, bingo. I mean, <laughs> we've been worried about my mother as unto dying, and now yeah, yeah, I play bingo. We got to go. <laughs> and I thought, okay, you know, bingo is important, I guess. And and uh, but she won a straw hat, and he won something, and they're they're very happy. And I think they got you know arts and crafts next week or something. I don't know oh, what they're perfect, doing. Man. I mean, they're vacation Bible school. I don't know what they're doing, but you know what? I'm glad that they're doing it. But the center where they are in South Carolina understands the importance of engagement like this to keep them fired up. Because so many times when you're dealing with a sickness, with aging, with an impairment, doesn't matter if you're young or old, you lose touch with the nimbleness of your mind and play games be involved in activities do something that really cooks your brain a little bit and and get you going because if you if if you don't use it 
you're going to lose it. It's just that simple. And that's why music is such a big part of that process for so many people. Uh, music therapy now, because, because it stimulates your mind. You remember these things. And, and uh, remember that show we did with the, the, the folks that had the music thing, that they make those customized yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love that. And, and I've been in nursing homes before where I'll, I'll be playing a hymn and boom, somebody who's checked out all of a sudden is, is right there with me saying every word. Gracie, a friend of ours, was was in a nursing home. I mean, he was in hospice and he was dying. And Gracie sang to him for two and a half hours. She just had the hymnal going through it. He's mouthing every word with her. That's and I thought that's, that's you've got yeah. to stimulate, play games, engage. That's our today's senior moment. Please do that for yourself. This is hope for the caregiver. We've got to take a quick break. Chris Latham and the band are firing up, and we want to hear from you. Eight seven seven six five five sixty seven fifty five. Eight seven seven. 655-6755. That is your lifeline to a lifetime of experience to help you stay strong and healthy as you take care of someone who is not. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 